Ewoks, also known as Star Wars, Ewoks, is an animated television series featuring the Ewok characters introduced in Star Wars, Episode 6, Return of the Jedi and further explored in Caravan of Courage, an Ewok adventure and its sequel Ewoks, The Battle for Endor. The series was produced by Nilvana on behalf of Lucasfilm and broadcast on ABC, originally with its sister series droids and then by itself, as the all-new Ewoks. The series focuses on the adventures of Wicket W. Warwick and his friends on the forest moon of Endor before the events of the original Star Wars film and Caravan of Courage. Unlike the Ewok films, the characters speak English instead of their native language. The primary recurring villains are Morag the Tulga Witch, who had a personal grudge against the tribe's shaman, Master Logre, and the Dulox, a rival species that is related to the Ewoks. The penultimate episode, Battle for the Sunstar, which was re-aired as the series finale, shows the Ewok heroes leaving the forest moon surface when they go aboard an Imperial Star Destroyer that has traveled to their system. An Imperial scientist attempts to destroy the Emperor, whose shuttle makes an appearance. The episode has been noted as forming a link with Return of the Jedi, which features the Empire using Endor as its base of operations for the second Death Star. Warwick family Kintaka family Tebow's family Latara's family various the series is a follow-up to the two Ewok films, Caravan of Courage and the Battle for Endor, which were themselves spin-offs of Return of the Jedi. The first season of the series was somewhat sophisticated, but in the second, the writing and visual style were both simplified. The theme song for the first season was written and performed by Taj and Inshira Mahal. With this season, advertised as the all-new Ewoks, episodes are now short of the 11-minute format meaning two segments per half hour. This season introduced a new theme song, Friends Together, Friends Forever, written and performed by Patrick Gleason. Ewoks was broadcast on ABC, originally with its sister series droids and then by itself, as the all-new Ewoks. The series ran for two seasons of 13 half-hour episodes between 1985 and 1986 and was later shown in reruns on Sci-Fi Channel's Cartoon Quest. Almost all of the episodes were released on VHS in the 1980s and 1990s. Most notably the UK PAL releases over six cassettes, which had the opening sequences and credits edited out. On April 2, 2021, the entire series was released on Disney+. During the making of the Star Wars prequel trilogy, its producer, Rick McCallum, oversaw two direct-to-video compilation films, each compiled from four episodes of the series. The first, The Haunted Village, was released on VHS in 1997. The second, Tales from the Endor Woods, was released in 2004 on a DVD titled Star Wars, Animated Adventures, Ewoks. The newer film includes narration from Adult Wicket. According to David Perlmutter, Ewoks was unremarkable both technically and creatively. Screen Rant says the series was made at a time when television. Executives had no idea what constituted good children's animated television, comparing it to series like The Smurfs, Snorks, or Care Bears. Sci-Fi Wire calls the series more a marketing ploy for Lucasfilm than a worthwhile extension of the franchise, designed to sell toys, cereals, and action figures, though mentions that it featured a few surprisingly entertaining installments that appealed to both parents and kids. Particularly the penultimate episode, Battle for the Sunstar. Some controversy has resulted from the Ewoks' apparent mastery of English while appearing not to speak the language in the Ewok films or Return of the Jedi. Elements from the series are featured in Star Wars reference media, such as A Guide to the Star Wars Universe and the Star Wars Encyclopedia. A Dulloch was shown on Coruscant in Chapter 21 of the 2D animated Clone Wars. Ewoks was excluded from canon status in 2014, but some elements appear in the canon Ultimate Star Wars and later reference books, and the canon web series Star Wars Forces of Destiny. In 1985, Kenner Products produced a series of action figures based on the series. A second wave of figures were prototyped but ultimately cancelled due to poor sales of the initial wave. Several previously released Ewok-themed vehicles, playsets, and accessories were advertised on the card backs of the figures but were curiously never offered in Ewok's cartoon-branded packaging. In 1985, Star Comics, an imprint of Marvel, published a bi-monthly Ewoks comic based on the animated series. It ran for two years, with a total of 14 issues. Like the TV series, it was aimed towards a younger audience and produced parallel to a comic spun off from droids. Issue number 10 of Ewoks continued the Lost in Time crossover story from Droids number 4. Additionally, 
Spanish comics publisher Editorial Jepsa produced two page Ewoks comics as part of an anthology series. Footnotes citations. Thanks for watching.